Hello friends, it's Miss Sarah. We're back for another week of Raising Readers, our online story time for babies and toddlers from the Alpha Park Public Library. We started a new series last week about the alphabet. And we started with A. A is for alphabet. This week, we have the letter B. B is for Bear, our friend Bear, who helps us with our songs. B makes the sound B, B, just like in Bear. So we're going to use our Bear today to sing our opening song, Wake Up. Excuse me, I had an itch. We are going to wake up our feet. We are going to wake up our chins. Where's your chin? Right here underneath your mouth, kind of the end of your face. That's your chin. And our hair. Let's wake up our hair today. That'll be a fun one. All right, so let's get started with our feet. Get out your feet. Let me see those toes. Get ready to shake them really good. Here we go. Wake up feet. Wake up feet. Wake up feet and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up and wiggle in the morning. All right, let's do our chins. If you have a little baby, this might be a really fun one to spin to their face and then tickle their chin. Here we go. Wake up chins, wake up chin, wake up chin and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up chin, wake up chin. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. I'm gonna put down Bear because it's gonna be a little easier to wiggle my hair than his. So, get your hair ready. Now, if you don't have long hair like me, that's okay. You can do all kinds of silly things with your hair. You can just tickle your head, whatever you feel like doing, as long as you're getting some wiggles out and moving your body this morning. Here we go. Wake up hair, wake up hair, wake up hair and wiggle 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 wake up hair wake up hair wake up and wiggle in the morning <laughs> all right i hope you got to move a little bit and be silly during that song now we're going to do our rocking rhyme about friends who read together so grab something cuddly someone cuddly or just snuggle up and try rocking back and forth for this song here we go Oh, friends who read together, together, together. Oh, friends who read together will stay friends for sure. Let's read a book together, together, together. Let's read a book together and always be friends. Good job. All right. Let's start off with our first book. This book is by Bill Martin Jr. who wrote Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, which was one of our books last week. This book is called Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? B -b baby and B -b Bear both start with B. Baby bears are in this story. Hmm. Let's see if I get our hands around the pages. All right, baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? Baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? I see a red fox slipping by me. Okay, there's our bear. He sees a red fox. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see a flying squirrel gliding by me. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, what do you see? I see a mountain goat climbing near me. Mountain goat, mountain goat, what do you see? I see a blue heron flying by me. Blue heron, blue heron, what do you see? Wow, that's a big bird, isn't it? I see a prairie dog digging by me. 
Oh, here he is. Look at those long claws for digging. Prairie dog, prairie dog, what do you see? I see a striped skunk strutting by me. Ooh, striped skunk, striped skunk, what do you see? I see a mule deer running by me. Look at this mule deer. Mule deer, mule deer, what do you see? I see a rattlesnake sliding by me. A rattlesnake? Rattlesnake, rattlesnake, what do you see? I see a screech owl hooting at me. Ooh, owls are beautiful, look at that. Screech owl, screech owl, what do you see? I see a mama bear looking at me. Oh, I wonder if that's baby bear's mama. Mama bear, mama bear, what do you see? I see. Oh, do you remember all of our animals? A red fox, a flying squirrel, a mountain goat, a blue heron, a prairie dog, a striped skunk, a mule deer, a rattlesnake, a screech owl, my baby bear looking at me. That's what I see. The end. There were lots of animals around this baby bear, wasn't there? Oh my goodness, how fun. All right, friends, it's time for Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. So you need a scarf if you have your story time scarf. If not, you can use a kitchen towel, you can use a wash rag, a blanket, or you can just use your hands because Zoom, Zoom, Zoom is a fun song without any props. We're going to sing it together two times. So stand up and get ready to move. Here we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Get ready to count in five, four, three, two, one, blast off. All right, let's do it again. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Hey, ba ba blast off. That's another B word. Wow. All right, our next song is the teddy bear song and you might know this one. Now this song is a little hard for me to demonstrate and stay on the camera. I'm gonna use my friend Bear a little bit. He is a teddy bear after all. But you're going to have to stand up and do the movements. See if you can try it. Ready? Now, I'm gonna say teddy bear, teddy bear, and then give you a move. And you're gonna be the teddy bear and do the move, okay? All right, stand up. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, jump up high. Really high, big jump. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. How high can you reach? Teddy bear, teddy bear, bend down low. Bend over, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn out the light. Can you pretend? Blink. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Good night, teddy bear. That's a fun song when you need a rhyme. Right. We have another story today, and this is about a very famous teddy bear, a teddy bear who wears green overalls. You may have seen this book before. This book is Corduroy, and it's a book about a very special teddy bear. Let's see if I can 
Is it open? Here we go. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. One morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Mommy, look! There's the very bear I've always wanted. I'm going to make this just a little closer, friends. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much money already. Besides, he doesn't look very new. He's lost one of the buttons on his shoulder straps. That's how it is at the store, right? We can't buy all the things every day. Well, that's what happened to the little girl today. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator. And up he went. Wow, have you ever been on an escalator? Corduroy's brave. He stepped right up. Now he's riding to the top. Could this be a mountain, he wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor. And there, before his eyes, was a most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. Is Corduroy in a palace? I think he's just in a new part of the store. He wandered around, admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto a large, thick mattress. All at once, he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried. And he tried to pick it up. But, like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws until, pop, off came the button. And off the mattress, Corduroy toppled, bang, into a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Corduroy didn't know it but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going, was going his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Now who in the world did that? He exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there, he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning. And there looking at him with a wide, warm smile was the same little girl he'd seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank 
and my mother said I could bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered. And she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just to the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder straps fastened. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa and she gave him a big hug. That is the story of Corduroy, the bear with the green overalls. Okay, before we can be done, we have to sing our ABC song. And this week, the letter B is red on your sheet. So here's your song sheet for this week. Oops, sorry, the lights are showing you the back. And you can see we've gone from A to B. On the back are some awesome B words you can color. Here's our letter B. Do you know what this is? A banjo, a b, -b box, butterfly, and binoculars for you to look through. Your craft today is a b, -b bear. You're going to have a little pocket and it's going to have all your bear parts in it. There's a little bear head, body, some arms, and you'll see how it goes together. You could glue your little bear together this week. All right, let's sing our ABC song and then we'll end with if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. All right, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job, friends. Give yourselves a hand. All right, let's sing if you're happy and you know it. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, and shout. Hooray! As big as you can. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Are you ready to stomp your feet? If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, make it big, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! Hooray for the letter B, friends. Next time, the letter C. Take care.